Well, I think we want to see an organic performance. I think we want to see something that's very real and truthful. And I can tell when someone is, I, that's why I like reading with actors because when we're reading together, I can tell whether we're connecting and you're listening to me or whether you're just spouting the lines and waiting for your cue. And so I can tell whether what you're doing is real or not by me being in the scene with you, which is why I, I love uh, being the reader. So I, I want to see you uh, not act and not try so hard, just be. Not be a square peg and trying to fit into a round hole. So. Um, or or yeah, that. I mean, many times we release a breakdown or there's a, a character description in the screenplay and... I see actors just trying to figure out what do they want? What do they want? How can I, how can I be this guy? How can I uh, fit my square peg into the round hole? And so they, they, they stop making choices and they, they stop uh, finding the character and doing character development because they're so busy trying to figure out what we want, mm -hmm. you know? And it comes across as not authentic. It comes across as them trying to be this guy rather than just being the guy. Well, it kind of depends on what uh, what type of bridge they burned. Uh, if the, for me, if they come in and they're unprepared, uh, they you know, if a script is available and they didn't read the script, that's very disrespectful, and it makes me think that you're not serious about what you're doing. To be honest, uh, and so I wonder: Are you really professional? Are you really uh, here for the right reasons? Uh, if you, let's say, you know, burn a bridge, like you're saying, um, you know, let's say you, you go off, you go up on your lines, uh, which happens all the time. We're all human, right? I, I think actors should be as off book as they possibly can when they come in. But if you go up in your lines and you get lost, oftentimes it's how you recover from that that gives us an indication of how professional you are if you completely dissolve into a puddle on the floor and start apologizing i'm so sorry can i please start over and you flip out and lose yourself when you when you go uh, up on your lines or if you just go give me a second you dip down into your 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 script you find where you are you look up and you go and you just continue that i mean it's kind of like walking this tightrope when you're auditioning and how well and composed and graceful you are when you do make a mistake and recover that makes us root for you you know that's so exciting um but if you know somebody comes in and just completely stinks up the room because they're you know they have a bad attitude or they're unprepared um yeah i'm probably not going to bring you back for a while and what's going to, um, you know, how you can turn that around, it takes some time. It takes uh, me maybe seeing you be good in something down the line and hearing reports that you're, you know, you're back on track. Uh, so it, it, you kind of have to kind of uh, do the due diligence and, and do some good work in the meantime. And uh, your agent will hopefully, or your manager will talk to me about how you're back on track and I should give you a chance again. Because I'm always willing to be surprised. I'm, I'm always willing to take a chance and have my mind changed about you. That's just me. It doesn't mean everybody's going to be that way, though.